So we've got um, we've got this problem where we have a line, we've got a curve that's tangent to the line, and I'm going to demonstrate this procedure that ends up being used a lot in a later section having to do what's called optimization question. All right? Um, here's my axes, and I would like to first draw this line that I'm interested in, the line of y is, or the curve line in, or what now? The curve, y is equal to the natural log of 2x. And it looks something like that. Right? Now I've got a line that's going to be tangent to this curve, and it goes through the origin. So I'll do that origin uh, in that point right there. And if it's tangent to this curve, that means there's another point that's actually on that curve. And I'm going to put a, a, a black point on that curve. Now, do we know the coordinates for this point here? Zero, zero. And this is a classic part of this procedure. Draw a map, put your coordinates down, say what you know about that coordinate. Do we know this coordinate? Well, we don't know exactly what coordinate it is, but we do know something about this coordinate. Any coordinate on this curve has the form x comma natural log 2x. We know that that coordinate is, if it's on the curve, it has that, has that coordinate. Now let's talk about this line, which is going through the origin and going through that point on the curve. Let's talk about that line. Do we know the slope of that line? Well, sure, we have the slope formula. We have a difference in y values. How about the natural log of 2x minus 0? It's one of my y values. 0 is the other y value. Divided by my difference in my x values. Also, x, or something, x minus 0. That's the slope of that line. Now, again, I don't know the coordinates of that point, but I do have an expression now that represents the slope of that line. Now, if that line is tangent to that curve, there's some other way of getting at the slope of that tangent line. And that is to look at the derivative of that curve. Well, what's the derivative of that, of that curve? What's dy dx? 1 over 2x, reciprocal, two. times 2, chain, which is 1 over, 1 over x. Now, what are we asking for? We would like the situation where the line is tangent to the curve. Oh, we want that slope to be equal to that derivative. We want to know when is it that natural log 2x over x is equal to 1 over x. When is the slope of the line equal to the derivative of the curve? Now, algebraically, can we solve that? It does, but in order to find m, we've got to find x. Do you have a better way? All right, so this is, this, is a, this is an expression that describes the slope of the line. This one is an expression that describes the derivative of the curve, and we want to force these two things to be equal to each other. So the line is tangent to the curve. Okay. Oh, no. First of all, are we okay with this setup? And if we're okay with the setup, then let's go ahead and solve it algebraically. Marissa, go ahead and tell me what I'm going to do. The natural log of 2x is equal to 1, because I multiply both sides by x. Now, how can I undo that natural log? I put both of these expressions as the exponent on e, because e to the x and natural log are inverse functions. So what happens when e and natural log meet? <laughs> right? <laughs> yes, they go beep. Yeah. And then on this side, just a plain old e, and therefore x is equal to e over 2. Now, unfortunately, that does not answer our question. Our question is, what's the slope? And now our choice is, do you want to play that value for x and plug it into here and get the slope? Or do you want to take this value of x and plug it into here and get the slope? Both of them are going to give us the same value. 
This one's easier? Okay, so we declare that the slope is going to equal 1 over x, and x is e over 2, which means our slope is 2 over e. The reciprocal of e over 2. Which is the right answer. M, M is equal to that. Again, this idea of I take any point on the curve and I can give its coordinate, not as an exact coordinate, but rather as this expression that's going to f be fulfilled. This happens again and again, especially in the optimization section. Aaron, do you remember that? Yeah. Okay. So that's number 31. It's not the answer they have in the text? Is it?